Postpex an experience. Uh, it's not a it's not a place. It's not a it's not a moment in time. It's an experience. It's about like-minded individuals who love challenges, who have passion, and want to continue to learn. Postpex is a reflection of the culture here at Tune and our opportunity to uh, let everybody see what we're about. We believe a rising tide lifts all boats. So when we first set out to do post back in the very beginning, it was just to get people in a room, just to build more relationships and to see where that might take us. Every year now we have to top the experience from before. We don't want it to be the 50,000 person conference because one thing that's important for us is that the most relevant people are there. Everyone that you run into at Postback will be someone that you'll want to have a conversation with. So since the beginning of Postback, we've had three basic rules. One is be social, another is be open, and third is party. Postback is an event where we try to make it as fun as possible. It's about the experience, so we want everyone to also be able to meet new people. We build platforms to support marketers as well as partners, and because of that, we are in the only place to be able to bring those two audiences in the ecosystem together. Here's what I love about Postback. Everybody that I want to talk to is here. You can't walk across the lobby without bumping into four or five people that you would love to do business with. At Postback, there's actually a lot of relationships that happen. People meet for the first time and in the future get new job opportunities because of it. People meet and get married in the future. This year, we were almost gonna have someone propose at Postback. <laughs> yep. <laughs>
our representative, and that to me is very inspiring. Instead of just hearing, you know, not necessarily boring CMOs all day, right? But getting to hear that real diversity of thought and experience is really inspiring. The most talked about part of Postback is likely the boat party. So we actually rent two huge boats and take people on a cruise around Lake Washington where they get to see a little bit more of Seattle than maybe a first time visitor normally gets to see. In Odessa, the year that we booked them, it was actually right before they went on a world tour and that year they became a Grammy nominated artist, which was an awesome thing to really celebrate because everyone that came to Postback remember that moment where they were at a private event and Odessa played this live show. Another year we booked Rufus Du Soul, which was another artist similar to Odessa where their music is kind of a celebration of summer. In the EMP Sky Church, it's just an amazing venue that any artist wants to be able to play in. Life is short and we want to have fun. So yeah, we want to have, we want to throw some great parties. Uh, we want to surprise people with those things as well. It's going to keep getting harder and harder to, to exceed everyone's expectations. They're like, what, Odessa's showing up? Or Rufus, what is, you know, and then Richard Sherman and like all these things. But we're going to keep doing it. We're going to do our best to keep topping it every year. Um, and it's those surprises and those moments that, that just sort of bring everybody together and yeah, help us have a, a great time with each other. The value of, of Postback and and Tune Week is for us to think about how we can be industry leaders and bring other industry leaders together. The time for reflection, it's a time for brainstorming. Think about the opportunities to set forth the pace and the momentum for next year.